Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. This is a um, short video where we're going to have a quick look at how we can um, manage the development of logic apps and the configuration for parameters that are needed for developing locally. So here I've got um, a logic app and it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to set a couple of variables and I'm going to do an HTTP call to a service called Mockaroo which really just gives you test data back. Now there's a couple of settings I need, so first off I need an API key, I also need the URL for Mockaroo, and uh, what I'm also going to do is just set a variable here. So this variable is going to get set every time we do a deployment, and it's going to be set to hello world from dev when it's done from a dev box, and when we do it from a dev ops pipeline it's going to have the name of the pipeline in it. The the variable here for Mockaroo, that's going to be set um, as a parameter from the um, deployment and also um, the key for Mockaroo as well. So let's have a quick look at what this looks like on um, in Visual Studio for Logic App Development. So here we've got a Visual Studio solution. Um, I'll just open the Logic App up to show you. So you can see here we've got the logic app just like in the portal. Um, the the um, stuff here gets set from parameters as, as you can see which we'll look at in the ARM template in a minute. And the HTTP action set as, as required. So in the um, in the ARM template underneath so we've got a couple of parameters here. So I've got the, the solution specific variable which I'll talk about in a moment. So that one gets set here. Mockaroo URL, Mockaroo key. You can see that one's a secure string. Um, and we're going to basically just use these further down, as you can see here, just like you saw in the, in the logic apps. Now, the question is if you read the article in the integration playbook, there's a couple of steps here. So, number one, how do we do this on my development box? So, this is going to be an individual developer gets the code from the repos, change and stuff. And we've, we've got the challenge of that person's deploying that logic app to a dev environment in Azure, how do they manage those settings? So typically we'd have a logic app parameters file. So here you can see I'm going to overload this um, solution specific variable with a hard coded one. Um, I've also got a reference to a key vault here for that secure secret that we want to get. So that's grabbed at deployment time and the ARM process would do that. Grab the the secret and deploy it and we're referencing the name of the key here and we've got this Mockaroo um, URL which I'm going to talk about in a, in a second. Now the key thing here is there's, there's three different types of settings I discussed in the article so we've got a, a solution specific variable or, or parameter that belongs only to this one logic app solution so nobody else really cares about it so that might be something like a queue name where this is the only thing listening to that queue or it could be some other setting for the um, for the interface we've then got a system setting so here this might be a URL for a service that gets used by multiple interfaces so we want to have a common approach if we've got 10 different logic app solutions we don't want everybody to have that as a hard coded setting because we want to be able to change it easily for everybody so while this one makes sense in the development box to have it just hard coded with whatever the dev setting is um, that's fine we'll override that when we do deployments to other environments that we'll talk about in future videos but um, this one we'd like to have a some way of grabbing a common setting so that everybody's using this, the same ones and we can easily change and the the key vault reference I think works perfectly fine here and that that's usually the way most people are doing it anyway I um, mean it just keeps those secret and people don't need to grab them now um, if you'll notice I've got logic app.parameters.json and here I've got a template version so I'm going to use this template when I do the DevOps stuff You'll notice the key vault bit is slightly different, um, and I've talked about that a bit more in the article, and we'll talk about that in another video. But just really note that logic app.parameters.json's for me to deploy in this on my local dev box. Logic app.parameters.template is a way I'm going to use in DevOps. I'm going to use a slightly different parameter file that I'll inject stuff in in the deployment pipelines for all of the other environments. Now, what I've done is, um, in a typical logic app solution, we have this horrible PowerShell script that's always been with the Visual Studio stuff that seems to do loads of stuff um, to do deployments. And 
it works, it's worked with Visual Studio, but I've never really understood why it needed to be as hard as this, this script is when it doesn't, you know, you can deploy this stuff much simpler. So what I'm going to do here is um, I've got my own script, which basically uses, um, number one, it uses the new AZ command. So I'm going to do AZ source group deployment. I'm going to pass the template file. So that'll be the logic app.json. And I'm going to pass the parameter file as well. But what I'm going to do that's different is um, if you'll notice up here I've got logic app.parameters.dev.json and what we're going to do is here we're going to use um, the AZ, um, AZ commands to go to app config and we're going to get the um, the JSON from app config for the, the settings so over in, in Azure here if I can take a step back I've got a shared app config instance used for developers on their dev box that your deployment will use to get common settings. So in here I've put um, the URL for Mockaroo, so we've got common settings underscore Mockaroo API URL and we've got the actual API in there. So if we go back to PowerShell, what this is going to do, just drag this back in, is this is going to go and get from app config get those keys we're then going to get the content of the logic app.parameters.json we're going to go through all of the keys and we're going to look for something that says underscore underscore plus the name of the um, of the app setting um, followed by underscore underscore and then we're going to replace them all and we're going to write that out as logic app.parameters.dev.json so what that'll do in in these these files is basically it'll take all of these these common settings here and it'll um, replace them and we'll have this this logic app.parameters.json file that PowerShell is then going to use to call the deployment and, and actually do the deployment of the logic app so really to do a logic app deployment all I need to do is run this so I can go and change it in Visual Studio modify my parameters just one point to note here is um, you will get a little error comes up here because that's that um, app configs in preview at the minute, and I'm sure when it's got a better PowerShell provider, uh, when it's got a better PowerShell provider or um, it's got um, out of preview in Azure CLI, it'll you know stop getting that, but it, it still works fine, so that's good. Um, and you can see here I just checked the settings that came from app config did the deployment and, and that's dead easy. So for local development it means I got the key from Key Vault here that was automatically just grabbed when I did the deployment. Here I got the common setting in PowerShell to set that when we did the deployment and because this one's specific to just this solution that can be hard coded in your dev parameters. When we go and do it in the pipeline which will be in a follow up video will show there's a couple of different ways you can get those settings but really you just need to make sure that your template file for other environments is in sync with um, with your parameters for development and then you can just inject these in the pipeline. Thanks for listening.